You know, castles are fortifications which have stood the test of time. They were built not just to serve as shelter for royalties, but also to secure the entire kingdom from external threats. Castles are also built not just for one ruler. They're not just built for one king and one king alone. They were built for generations to follow. That's why I came up with the idea to share with you how you can build your very own castle. That is your very own C-A-S-T-L-E in six simple and easy to follow steps by fortifying your finances. Again, this is Andoy Beltran from First Metro Securities Brokerage Corporation. I'm heading both the business development and the market education uh, teams of the firm. I happen to be part of the Inquirer family by way of uh, my affiliation with Inquirer Property. I contribute every so often uh, articles about investing uh, and everything in between. And by virtue of uh, being part of the Inquirer Academy faculty. Um, now, in order for us to build a castle, we have to start from somewhere, absolutely. Every castle is built from the ground up. And every castle is built starting with the letter C. That's why the first step in order for us to build wealth and preserve wealth for generations to follow is letter C, create a solid financial foundation. First things first, when you're trying to construct something and you want it to last generations, you have to start off by making sure that you have a strong foundation. Building a skyscraper, building on Ortigas land, condo tower, um, they can be a marvel to one's eyes. But what most people don't understand is that for a huge of that structure to be erected, a well-engineered foundation, a well-planned foundation has to be on top of the priority list. That's why even before you save, uh, even before you invest, budgeting comes first on our list. Tayo mga Pilipino, kilala tayo bilang masipag. But uh, unfortunately, ang Pilipinas, hindi kilala bilang isang mayamang bansa. Ang ibig sabihin nito, hindi sapat ang sipag lamang. Hindi sapat na kayod lang tayo ng kayod. We need to make sure that we budget our finances and that we have an ample revolving fund and that we follow the 30-50-20 budgeting strategy. Simply put, itong 30-50-20 budgeting strategy, it just guides us na every single time that we receive our sweldo, every time we receive something, allowances, professional fees, talent fee, 30% goes to your emergency fund. Kapag tapos ka na sa emergency fund mo worth 6 to 12 times or average monthly expenses, the next 30% will go to your growth fund or investment fund. 50% goes to your needs and then 20% is supposed to fund your wants. Next, you need to understand that not all utangs are created equal. Um, tayong mga Pilipino, masama sobra ang tingin natin sa, sa utang kasi akala natin pag may utang ang isang tao, they're financially struggling. Hindi marunong maghawak ng pera, but there are good and bad types of utang. If you're going to examine the books of the richest people in the Philippines, the most successful companies in the Philippines, they have a good amount dun sa portfolio nila na utang. So does that make them financially responsible? I don't think so. It just makes them knowledgeable. Alam lang nila kung saan pwedeng dalin, saan magandang dalin yung pera na inutang in order for them to grow and keep on making more money. They buy more properties, they buy additional factories, properties, warehouses, they hire more people, they develop more products and services to get their business to where they want it to be. Next, importante rin na meron tayong saving, of course. When it comes to saving, pinag-usapan natin kanina sa budgeting, mag-save ka lang for your emergency funds because our money is not really growing that much when you talk about putting it in a, in a plain vanilla deposit account. And then only after that, can we get that green light? Only after that am I giving you the green light to start investing. So again, all these things, important for us to build a strong financial foundation. Now, in an economy dominated by consumer spending, 60% ng GDP natin dito sa Pilipinas, um, it's all about uh, consumption, consumer, no? uh, consumer spending. It's easy for Filipinos to be marupok. It's easy for us to fall victim to, to online boodle. That's why the Shopees, the Lazadas of the world, 
that's why patok na patok yan dito sa atin because again, we're very marupok and we're very, very easy to fall budol. No? Um, before online shopping became a thing, 11-11 or November 11, used to be a big deal for the Chinese. Ang tawag nila dito, um, Singles Day. It's, it's, it's an unofficial holiday for Chinese bachelors and bachelorettes. They use Singles Day by they 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 celebrate Singles Day by spending money on food, vacation, designer bags, designer shoes. No, now si Jack Ma of Alibaba had this brilliant idea of diverting the resources, aka money, of uh, Chinese bachelors and bachelorettes, even even married people, no, even engaged people, kahit hindi ka single, and virtually everyone on Alibaba by having a site-wide price drop every November 11. So, parang naging once a year spectacle siya for people to prepare for financially. But, we Filipinos are competitive. Yung online shopping apps natin, they hold not one, not two, but at least three online sh- shopping extravaganzas a month. Meron tayong one one two two three three. Four, four, five, five, six, six. The the the, the next uh, uh the next online sale we need to prepare for is probably eight eight. But of course, on on top of that, meron pang payday sale, kinsenas, katapusan, meron pang mga flash sales, no. So again, that just goes to show how dominated uh how we are dominated, no. When it the uh, pagdating sa consumer spending, and again, Shopee, Lazada, they know their market. Now, uh. After that, of course, tapos tayo sa C, tapos tayo sa first uh, character natin, first letter natin. We now go to number two. Number two, I want you to adjust your financial plan regularly. Walang forever. The budget and emergency fund we just talked about, they're not meant to last forever. Why? Because times change. People change. We evolve. We get salary increases, we get promoted, we transfer jobs, tumataas ang presyo ng mga bilihin, inflation is real. Yung budget natin sa grocery last year, not enough to buy the same items today. Of course, we also get more and more responsibilities and obligations over uh, over time. Yung emergency fund, yung budget natin when we were still single, obsolete na yun by the time we get married. Yung budget natin, yung emergency fund natin, by the time we get married, obsolete na yon kapag nagkaroon na tayo ng kids. No? So what's really important there is you recalibrate. You adjust your budget, you adjust your emergency fund at least once a year for you guys, for your family, for your growing family to be able to factor in salary increases, pagtaas or pagbaba ng inflow ng pera, inflation, pagtaas or pagbaba ng gastusin natin sa bahay. And of course, additional responsibilities and obligations. Now, number three, C A S letter S. It's all about seeking professional guidance. I want you to engage the services of a trusted, verified, and reputable advisor. A trusted, verified, and reputable broker. A trusted, verified, and reputable financial uh, guru. You no, know? para sa social media, you don't just share you don't just uh, read you don't just spend too much time um browsing an unverified page you don't share unverified info you don't share unverified news no good and then when it comes to money matters you need to make sure that you are dealing with professionals um in real estate terms these professionals are going to make sure that you have a blueprint and the floor plan to follow a professional can offer personalized customized Uh, advice and help you navigate complex financial matters na usually hindi mo kayang mas- masolve on your own. It helps you you know, make informed investment decisions. They also help you stay updated on the latest uh, investment opportunities and latest regulations because again, nothing is forever. Number four, I want you to try out other investments. It's very important that you diversify your portfolio. If you don't keep on trying other investment vehicles, um, hindi mo masusubukan kung ano yung mas maganda, hindi mo maiintindihan kung ano yung iba pang pwedeng ma-offer ng investment market sa'yo. Spreading your investment across different asset classes can help mitigate risks. It can help you increase your potential for long-term growth. It helps you protect your portfolio against volatility, na lalo na 
if you're heavily concentrated on stocks at stocks lang ang laman ng portfolio mo, then on bad market conditions, you have no choice. Talagang magiging pula ang investment portfolio mo. And most importantly, it shields you from economic downturns. Now, consider diversifying your portfolio with a mix of stocks, bonds, unit investment trust funds or UITFs, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, REITs, and of course, real estate assets for you to eventually start getting multiple streams of income from a myriad of investments you've been able to make along the way. And again, the good thing about this, ito mga capital market investments natin to, yung mga legitimate outlets natin, hindi mo kailangan ng malaking halaga for you to get started. All right? Number five, C-A-S-T, for us to be able to spell out castle, letter L, look at long-term investment strategies. Focus on long-term investing. Um, looking at things with a long-term mindset is very crucial um, for us to be able to preserve wealth over generations. Short-term market fluctuations, definitely they may occur, but focusing on the long-term potential of your investments can help you ride out temporary downturns and benefit from compounding returns. Guys, there's nothing wrong with starting slow. Sabi nga natin kanina, there's nothing wrong with starting small. You can start investing with a small amount of money and for you to be able to make your money, make even more money, you take advantage of the power of compounding. All right? And that leaves us with the last letter for us to be able to spell out and build your very own castle, C-A-S-T-L-E, letter E, educate the next generation. Education and communication, they're a very vital piece of the puzzle. Educate your ears about financial management and wealth preservation. Teach them about the principles of investing. Guide them through every step of the way. The importance of responsible spending and how to make informed investment and financial decisions. Hindi dapat bigay lang tayo ng bigay. You also need to teach them how to work for the things that they want, as young as possible. Open up to them about your worries, about your plans, about your expectations for you guys to avoid potential conflicts in the future. Hindi masamang pag-usapan ang pera. This is our way of making sure that we are raising a financially literate household. Building a castle doesn't happen magically, of course. You can't create something out of nothing. You only get multiple streams of income if you create multiple sources of income by investing in different asset classes. Whether you're already in the market or for real property or just trying to save for, for one, one brick at a time, you're on the right track. Because right now, investing in stocks, investing in mutual funds, unit investment trust funds, investing in exchange-traded funds, investing in government and corporate bonds, and investing in the newest kid on the block, real estate investment trusts, they're all just a few taps away from reality. So if you'd like to take that first step to investing, first step is for you, first option is for you to visit www.firstmetrosec.com.ph or perhaps download the First Metro Sec Go mobile app, accomplish the online form, upload the required documents, and uh, uh, include the proof of your initial deposit, 5,000 pesos, take a selfie, and then use Inquirer property as your code for you to, you know, uh, for, for, for us to be able to exempt you from the video interview requirement. This means you get to open your account faster and you get to start investing sooner. All right, all you need to do is to wait for one to two banking days for your account to get activated. Or if you happen to have inquiries, just email account opening at firstmetrosec.com.ph. I would love to add value to your next event. So for world-class, bespoke, gamified programs, tailor fit for your employees, students, and everybody else, I am just one DM away. So there you have it. It's a quick and easy six-step guide on how you can fortify and future-proof your finances by building a castle.